The Samsung S25 Ultra has a powerful assistant, an upgraded camera, a brand new navbar, and something I bet you've never seen before. So stick around for the best tips and tricks, because by the time we're done, you'll be an ultra pro. Alright, let's kick off with a trick that I guarantee no one's shown you. First, make sure you've added a fingerprint unlock to your Ultra. Pretty simple. Then, you're going to head into settings and open up modes and routines. Then here, tap on routines, then hit the plus icon. And now, under the if section, go ahead and select unlock with fingerprint. And under then, go ahead and select effects, then edge screen lighting effect. And once you've customized it a bit more to how you like it, click done and va bam, your Ultra will do this sick effect every time you unlock it. You can even color match it to your wallpaper for a better look. So trust me, you just gotta try this out. Then another smart trick you gotta try out is back inside routines. If you instead go to discover, in here you'll find a bunch of different routine presets. Like this low battery alert where you don't have to build it, it's already done. And once you click save, whenever your battery falls below 10%, charge your phone. Your phone will make that sound and you'll never forget to charge it. I mean, too cool. Then one more smart trick you gotta try is back inside routines. If you instead set this to sound mode, then select mute or vibrate, for example, and under then, go ahead and select the wallpaper option, then change home screen wallpaper. You can choose a completely different wallpaper, like the super vibrant red one. And now, whenever you switch to vibrate, your wallpaper will also switch, which unlocks a totally new level of customization. And now, if you've set all that up, every time you unlock your phone, you'll get the sick edge lighting effect. You'll also know what sound mode you're on just by looking at the wallpaper. Plus, your phone will automatically remind you when it's below 10%. Charge your phone. Sweet. Yeah, boy. So the S25 Ultra comes with something brand new called this now bar. And it's actually really cool. And how it works is when you're listening to music, maybe you have a timer on, or you're making a quick voice note, this little pill will show up at the bottom of the lock screen that allows you to control that live notification. And if you've got a few of these live notifications, you can swipe up or down to toggle between them. Or if you tap on them, it'll open up more controls. And another hidden trick for the always on display, if you tap once, you can't actually control anything. But if you double tap, <laughs> You can keep doing your thing, whether that's skipping to the next song, pausing, or playing your jams just by double tapping. And for all my customization fans out there, you can tweak exactly what the now bar shows. All you gotta do is tap and hold down on one of the live notifications, which you can either dismiss or go into the now bar settings. And here you can choose exactly what it is you want to display or not. Like me personally, I like removing the now brief. Oh, and one more thing, there's also a mini version of the now bar in the notification panel that works the same where you can toggle between different live notifications and control things right from here. This is a game changer for multitasking, but that's not even the best part. Okay, now this bad boy comes with three pro features that we've been wanting forever. And the first one is about phone calls, because now, as soon as you answer or make a call, you'll see this new icon over here. And if you tap it, this call is being recorded. I mean, this is such a lifesaver, especially when you're talking to people who, you know, sometimes have a selective memory. Yeah. I promise you'll get a raise next month. <laughs> and the best part, if you ever need to go back to that call recording, it's super easy. You just head into the phone application under recent calls, tap the call, and right over here, you'll see the transcript and you can even listen back to that phone call. Oh yeah. So no more he said, she said type of situation anymore. Then for my second pro feature, if you're scrolling through Instagram or maybe YouTube, whatever it is, or maybe there's even just a speaker around that's playing a banging song, an awesome trick is if you tap and hold down here and activate circle to search, this little music icon will pop up where if you tap it, it'll listen to your phone or the music around you and tell you exactly what song was playing. I just freaking love how convenient this is. For the third pro feature, in the Samsung internet app, right over here, you'll see this AI icon. And if you tap that, you'll see this brand new option to read highlights aloud. An 84 year old man fought off robber with pair of jeans. Okay. Oh, and for my fourth pro tip, did you know you can get an extra 50 bucks off the S25 Ultra or some other great deal if you use my link down below. But now this next feature, 
and it took me by total surprise. <laughs> Okay, so in my One UI 7 video, I specifically asked Samsung to bring their awesome new video slider from the pro video mode into normal video mode. And guess what? They did, but it is a little bit hidden. So first, what you gotta do once you've opened up the camera is actually start recording a video. Then you'll notice this little icon and once you tap it, bam, you got the brand spanking new zoom slider. That is just so much better. So if you've got a feature you'd like Samsung to add, drop it in the comment section because they're actually listening. Then onto the ultra wide camera because this actually got an upgrade from 12 to a whopping 50 megapixels, which you can easily toggle between right over here. And why this is so cool is because now you can get up super close to something and take an ultra detailed macro shot, which is a lot more crisp and overall just better quality than it's ever been. But something you might notice once you've taken the pic is if you swipe up to info, it's only 17 megs and not 50. Well, what actually happens is your pictures get processed down from 50 megs to 17 to save on space while keeping the exact same quality. Nice. Another awesome new camera feature is if you go into the camera settings, under advanced video options, you'll see you can now toggle on a log. And so now when you go back to video mode, you'll see the option up here, which you can tap to toggle on. And essentially what this does is records everything in this pretty dull look, but once you add the color back, it gives it the cinematic look and actually preserves a lot more detail than a normal video. But what a lot of people don't know is you can actually add the color back in on your phone. All you gotta do is swipe up on the video and right over there, you'll see this correct color option. Then you can just sit back, relax, and watch your cinematic masterpiece. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So believe it or not, but Samsung changed the side button to open up Gemini instead of Bixby. And Gemini actually has some insanely cool tricks that Bixby just can't do. And one of those things is cross app actions. And it's just easier if I show you what I mean. So for example, if I say, please can you find the top five pizzerias in town and text them to Mike. Gemini will then search the internet for exactly what I asked, put it all in a message to Mike, and I just have to press send, which is way faster than I would have ever done it. I mean, it's actually mind blowing phones can now do this. Another awesome Gemini trick, if you're watching your favorite YouTuber and bring it up, then tap this ask about video option. You can say something like, please summarize this video into 10 short points and add that to my notes. The bam, in a couple of seconds, it does all that for you and literally adds it to notes. That is just too cool. I mean, you can actually try that out yourself with this video. Gemini also has this little button over here that allows you to have totally normal conversations with it. Like, I'm busy brainstorming some short, funny one-liners. Why don't you give me the funniest one-liner joke you know? All right, here's a classic one-liner. I told my doctor I broke my arm in two places. He told me to stop going to those places. Let me know if you'd like another one. Okay, that joke was really funny, but now try your best to include eggs in it. All right, here's a one-liner involving eggs. I tried starting a hot air balloon business with eggs, but it kept getting scrambled. Okay, now we've got to move on to the keyboard because in here, if you go into the emoji section, you'll see the Samsung AI icon, which if you tap, will open up this new menu. And now if you type in something like, I don't know, an egg eating a chicken drumstick, for example, then pick one of the art styles and tap generate, it'll generate a completely new sticker for you based on what you typed. And you can then send that sticker to someone on WhatsApp. Now that's an excellent new feature. <laughs> But here's another little trick inside your keyboard. If you tap and hold down onto any of the stickers you've made, you can tap edit and then choose from a couple other different styles like cutout or cartoon. The only thing that's missing with this is being able to make stickers of people from your gallery. So Samsung, again, if you're listening, you know what to do. Now onto something else that's a lot of fun that you guys have got to try. But first, inside display settings, when you scroll down, make sure you've got edge panel turned on. Because now, when you swipe open the edge panel, you'll find a bunch of new things like AI Select, which I'll get to a bit later, but there's also something called Draw Assist. And how this works is you have three options to play around with, sketch, image, and text. And what I think this is awesome for is if you type in something like dream big text, 
then choose an art style like 3D cartoon and hit generate, you get something like this, which you can then go and put on your home screen using the gallery widget, which is just so cool. But something else that's a lot of fun is the image option, because you can upload a picture of yourself or a friend, choose whichever style you want, click generate, and boom, you get a really cool portrait that is so much better than when this feature first came out. But that's not even the best part, because you can then click the text icon, type in whatever it is you want, like headphones and a neck tattoo. I mean, I was curious, okay? <laughs> And just like that, you have a whole new reimagined image of yourself. This is like the perfect way to make cool new profile pictures, contact cards, or to just fool around with. But if that isn't your thing, then here's something that'll totally change the way you take selfies. Okay, now for this trick, you actually need to turn this little feature on inside your camera called motion photo. And that's because you can do a couple different things with it, starting with selfies. <laughs> so once you've taken your pic, if you open it up in the gallery and swipe up, you'll see all these different options appear, including this brand new one called Best Face. And here's where the real magic happens, because your phone will actually scan a bunch of similar selfies and give you multiple facial expressions to choose from, literally letting you choose your best face. So if someone prefers how they look in another shot, you can just easily swap out their expression. Much better. <laughs> then the second trick you can do with motion photos is once you've taken your shot and go inside the gallery, you'll see this new button over here where you can choose between boomerang or slow-mo, which then slows down your motion photo and gives it just such a cool look. And possibly my favorite new gallery trick is if you've recorded a video with a lot of wind sound or background noise, did you know if you click the edit icon all the way on the right, you get this new audio erase option. And if you tap this, then select auto, it'll automatically clean up all the background noise. And it does a really good job. Then remember earlier I showed you this AI select? Let me now show you what you can do with it. So for this, you might want to grab your S Pen because when using AI Select and selecting things, it just makes it so much easier. But with this feature, depending on what you select, these quick buttons here will change. And here's every single quick button that you can get. First is if there's a phone number on your screen and you just circle it with the S Pen, boom, you get the option to instantly call that number. Or let's just say there's a website link somewhere. Again, if you circle it, you'll get the website quick button option. Easy peasy. You can also do this with basically any text you'd like to copy from your screen. So again, you just circle it, then you can tap copy. But what if there's something you want to translate? Well, circle the text and hello, you've got yourself a translation. What's crazy is if you're watching a YouTube video and circle the video, you even get the option to create a GIF or GIF, however you like to say it. But the important thing is you can create one, <laughs> which is the best way to pretty much gifify anything you want. And probably my favorite one, if you ever see an image and circle it, you can either choose generative edit or draw assist, then choose a style, hit generate, and get a totally reimagined image of what you selected. But probably the best use case is if you circle something like a meme, you can instantly share that meme via text, WhatsApp, or even email. I mean, it's not illegal. <laughs> So AI Select is packed with a ton of cool new features, but so is this quick settings panel. Okay, so if you swipe down to open the quick settings panel, you'll notice that icons are now grouped together. But if you tap on the edit icon, you can actually move all these groups around, rearrange them to however you'd like, and even expand this section. Basically customize it to however you like. And only on the left hand side will you now find all your notifications, which can be quite annoying if you're not used to it. But there's actually a really quick trick to get it back to how it used to be. All you gotta do is go back to quick settings, tap that edit icon again, then panel settings and change this from separate to together. Now, if you swipe back down, it should look how it's always looked. And another little trick that's kind of hidden in plain sight, if you tap and hold down onto app folders, you can now choose to enlarge those folders, which opens up a lot of sweet, cool new ways to customize your home screen layout. And now that I've shown you 40 of the best tips and tricks for the S25 Ultra, how about we trade and you help me get to 3 million subscribers, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!